get the uh, link out here. Da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, let's get OBS up. All right, going for Gunsmith, new game. All right, never played it. This is a absolute fresh look at this game. This is a preview weekend. Uh, limited number of keys went out. And uh, they're just looking for feedback as far as just like gameplay and everything goes. So I want to give as fresh amount of feedback as I possibly can. And uh, we're just going to run into it here. And uh, new game. Good morning. It's me, Vienna. I know this has taken longer than expected, but I'm happy to tell you that we've started to conclude your father's estate. I've sent you the keys for a small factory that you've inherited. Ooh. Use the front door with the padlock. Unfortunately, there's not a lot left. Much of it was reclaimed by creditors after he passed away. Ooh. You'll want to start by getting familiar with your surroundings. There are some things left over that you can most likely use to get you started. Ooh. Yay. Looks like this doesn't actually fit on the screen. I'm guessing copper, fabric, plastic. Yeah, that's going right off the screen. I'm looking at OBS here. And it looks like my resolution. 19, that's... That's actually right. Hmm. Alright, in order to run any factory, you will need to buy resources. To purchase resources, you can go through the marketplace and buy anything you need. Be wise to watch the price of items as they will fluctuate. Uh, we will let you check this out in your own time. For now, we have started you off with 200 units of each certain materials. Alright. Okay, once you have purchased your raw materials, when you purchase items, it will be used to sell you description of clients pretty simple. Okay, resources are your raw materials. Okay. Factory floor. All lines start with a dispenser. This will output the raw materials that you will need to start production at your facility. To dispense a particular item, click on the machine you would like to interact with. A panel will appear with information on that particular machine and on the current output. Click on the machine you like to click the dispenser. Output fabric sheet. I'm guessing this is a dispenser. Uh, output fabric sheet. Okay. Output fabric sheet. That's right. Okay. Machines will dispense automatically if they are switched on and have a chosen item to dispense. The production line this time. Okay. I've provided you with an instruction manual Ooh. to look up production lines and materials. You can find this under the cookbook tab. Nice. Fabric gloves. I'm guessing we want fabric gloves because we don't have any camo anything oh, interesting the build menu contains all the machines and items you can place in your factory build menu nice Belts, nice. Start in, it would be dispenser and an end of line. 
there's a lot here, so let's start with the basics. Open, line, start, and. Dispenser? A thousand bucks. End of line. Okay. End of line is the end of the entire production line. This is the very last part of the line, but we'll already have leftovers. Okay. You can place machinery from the build menu. Once selected, an arrow will show you the correct placement direction. Okay, like belts. Set up a belt. Rotate R? Yeah, thank goodness. And mouse wheel. So that's a good thing. Yeah, this, this is basically, from what it looks like, a very similar game to uh, one called Production Line. Um, the Production Line was based on basically building cars, and this is actually, like, way, it looks way more intricate as far as how many cool things that you can do. Uh, and it's all in the, in the name of uh, placing building like guns and gun parts and military stuff and I think it's developers even have plans to go go all out with uh, like military equipment um, like planes and tanks and stuff um, that's that's the uh, main point there Uh, machines will require either or, either or, gas, water, and electricity. There are a few generators left in the factory. We need to research and place more in your factory as you the expand. The demolition tool okay. allows you to remove placed items from the factory. Can we move existing items, though? That is the question. What is this? Too many fellows <laughs> came into the factory to use by two heavy bodyguards, probably armed. They wanted high quality military gear. They did not care about license, legal matters, or any of the sort. Um. Uh. They brought an offering as a sign of good intent. What is the offering? Interesting. So you can actually get like nefarious like deals going on. Nice. A lot of text here to read. It is merely a rumor spread amongst his old friends that he enjoys not anymore but in his own company. He always pays his debt. Uh sure. You know, let's just go with it. You have a period of five seconds of playing on a machine where the new motion tool would offer you a full refund. Oh, so once placed, we can't actually move an object. Interesting. Uh, you ever... V. Nice. I like the I like the screen effect. I like that. Very very nice. Okay. The Hoover tool allows you to clean up belt spillage. This will be automatically put back into your inventory. Also accessed from the toolbar using the F key. Okay. Line control groups let you attach multiple machines to a single on-off switch. This will make it oh, easier cool. to control entire lines. Uh, we want output fabric gloves. We need fabric sheets. $75 a day. So I'm guessing... We want this uh, fabric gloves, fabric sheet, unfinished glove. Okay, chemical of line. Machines, add station, 
here and here. Okay, well, oh, add this and that. And I think, can I cancel? Okay, right click cancels it, awesome. I'm really big on intuitive controls. Okay, you can move stuff, just double click, and there just so happens to be just 10,000 different things. Oh, right, we can move stuff, and we can rotate it, all oh, beautiful. Um, so there must be like a fire or something going on around here somewhere because I'm hearing a lot of sirens. All uh, right, so these two stations, do we need to add the belts? No, we do not, okay, good. I like that. I like that. So I'm uh, again. I'm really big on intuitive controls. Uh, that is my stickler. If I had a specialty as a programmer for of 25 years, the big thing for me w would be intuitive intuitive controls, making things work uh, and make sense that way. Um, Okay, start line and end. End of line. Okay, here's the end of line. And it looks like I can place this. Uh, it looks like this is like above. Okay, it's not above, but I'm not sure how we're going to place this. Uh, let's cancel that for now. I want to take this guy. Oh, there is an end of line thing right here. Oh, they already gave us one. Now, is that, does that line up? There we go. That lines up. I uh, can't freely rotate. You know, middle mouse button doesn't rotate. Nothing rotates. I can rotate in uh, 90 degree increments, uh, but uh, I can't rotate to see exactly how those line up. But uh, it works, so I'm good. Uh, all right, so I can actually control an entire line with one switch. That is awesome. Okay. Once you click on a group, I think I did that already. You can place a station in your factory. That will allow you to easily access a certain group from a, from a click on the station instead of looking for it in the group listing. Okay. Whoa. Orders and clients. Okay. Once you have started production, you will want to sell your product. This is what the order screen is for inside the available orders. You can find a number of orders from the clients all wanting to purchase different things, particular needs. Try these clients to go elsewhere or find other companies to fulfill their requests. So it's important you deliver on time. Although choose carefully who you deal with or refuse to deal with, as fulfilling or rejecting orders will affect your reputation. <laughs> Okay. Oh, look at this. Nice. I like the money symbol. Money. Uh, what is this? This is where you can manage your research. It's your tool to expand your horizon and unlock new machines and items to manufacture. Uh, it is also where you can submit a request for manufacturing licenses. Unless, of course, you will enjoy working in the dark. Okay. To unlock your way through the research tree. No required or combination requirements. Money, research points, reputation with a certain organization, and or unlocking necessary nodes. Research points are gained by ex assigning a budget to your research team. Uh, you can select the budget on the top right corner and you will earn points daily. Now daily, is that game daily or real time daily? That, uh, that's a good question. I'm, I'm, I want to say it's game daily, but I can't be 100% sure on that. Uh, research budget. Whoa. What's... Oh, oh, they want camel gloves. Uh, sure. Let's see. Packing machine. Ooh. A 
packing machine. Okay. So we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to exit out of here. We need a packing machine. So what is this? That's a merger. Plastic former. Heater. Let's see what else we have in here. Boxing. I'm, I'm guessing this is what we actually need. Is stuff for boxing. Okay, so let's put that there. Put that there. I want to double click. Double, 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 double click. There we go. There we go. And uh, let's grab one of these guys. And I want. Can I get, like, output? Output. Select output. I want camel gloves. Uh, I want camel gloves. Cutting. Dispenser. Fabric sheep. Cutter machine. Ooh, I need a cutter machine in here too. Uh, okay. Plastic former. Heater. Sewer. Sews items. I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to need some of these. So let's get some of these going. Uh, I'm double clicking you. There we go. What are these? These are racks, probably. What else do we have around the around here? That there's a heater, another boxing machine, another dispenser. Those don't do anything. Oh, we got a lot of a lot of openings here. Um, plastic former merger machine, cutter machine. Ooh, do I not? Oh, camel glove, fabric glove, and a plastic fitting. Okay. So I need a I need camel glove made in the merger machine. Okay, so this is, we're actually going to get, we're actually going to get, this is going to get interesting. I hope time isn't going by. That would not be very nice. Uh, can we pause? I think we might be paused. So, so this, oh, this is actually a cutting. Okay, so inputs, I actually want to output. I want to clear this. How can I how can I clear this? I want a camel glove. Required inputs. Fab okay. I need a fabric glove anyway. Camel glove. This is the output. I guess this is the inputs. Plastic fitting. So line layout. Okay, we have dispenser, fabric sheep, cutting, fabric glove. Perfect, I've got that. This is very handy, by the way. This little this little thing is very handy. Uh, we're going to need a dispenser, a plastic block, and a heater. Luckily, we have, like, one of those right over here. It's almost like they, like, knew what we were going to do here. So these are sewers. Uh, we don't need a sewer. So okay, the, those cross beams not not something we need. Um, okay. I wish I could hide this window temporarily. I don't want to get rid of it, but I can't. I only have a very small amount of my screen that I can actually see. So the merger machine, this is another thing we're going to need. We're going to need some more belts and such. Okay. So this, we want this to be output plastic block. Now we need a heater. Heat level one. Perfect. And we need former. We need a plastic former. Hey, look at that. There's one right here. 
Sweet. Um, we're going to put that right there. We're going to put that there. Uh, this needs to be plastic fitting. Perfect. Now, they both need to go into the merger. So, I'm, I'm assuming we can't build... Okay, we need the merger. We need to rotate here. Okay. So here's the plastic former. There. Ooh, this is this does not line up right. So one of the things we can do, let's dial this back. Still, still not perfect. If I can get this I mean this is kind of an, an unfortunate amount of waste here, but a better way to do this because you're always looking for better ways to do stuff there okay and then let's see if we can actually pump out to the side like this hmm still doesn't line up very well I haven't solved my problem because this needs to go back here and then I need like a fractional amount to go into there Let's see. Is there a way we can optimize this? Can I rotate this thing? Yes, I did indeed I can. So you sir are gonna go there. Uh, you are going to go right here. I think that's basically where the dispenser is going to go. Although I think I need to be more or less right there. Okay. So this guy needs to go. I, it's a little hard to see when it's uh, light. I might want to dial down the uh, brightness of that a little bit. Okay, so this kept its fabric glove. Good. This kept its fabric sheet. This kept its plastic. This heated. Okay. A little bit better. Actually, way better. As far as, like, compression goes. But I'm not sure if I can actually do something like that. Because that lines me up. for that and weirdly weirdly off-center okay that's kind of weird that's whoa um, has some offering an old square face gentleman came today his face was harsh Tough for you as an old friend of my father's a proud soldier Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take that. Um, but why is this... Okay, maybe it's because this thing needs to be, like, perfect. Perfectly aligned like that. There we go. Perfect. Now, we have... The merger, output, camel gloves. Excellent. And then, 
what? Wait. What? Where's my? Where's my? Camel. There is the camel glove. Uh, okay, merging camel glove sewing machine level two. Ooh, we have level two sewing going on here. So, sewer level one here. I'm guessing. Ooh, uh, something's not right about that. There we go. There's the arrow is friendly. That arrow should be the same. Sewing level plus one. So sewing level one, sewing level two. Bingo. And let's see here. Sewing level two, boxing. Need the boxing machine. Uh, camel glove. Sewing level needs to be two. Passing them through the sewing machine. It is. It is going to be level two. Okay. Final product zero of twenty. Then we can finally spit those out into a package line. Pretty sure that lines up. But I don't know if I can get that any closer. Nope, I don't think I can. Okay, I think that is the line. Now, I need to work on... Um, where was... It wasn't a build menu. It was the... Ooh, where was it? Stations or something. Uh, See what you can make of what's left. I'm on hand to oversee that the business is operating and to bring you up to speed on what's going on, so I'll be in touch regularly. Eventually, you can move into bigger markets, right. such as small who's, arms, who's wife recorded all missiles, these? <laughs> landmines, armored cars, tanks, and aircraft. Ooh. It's up to you if you don't care how your weapons are used, but remember, a lot of things are banned by law because of its lethality to innocent people. The weapons you sell will kill, and this will affect you. Ooh. All right. All righty. So, looks like the text up here is not quite lined up. Uh, so, market. We have markets going. Research. I've got a little bit of money into research. And I need to select something. Um, I want money. Where's this money at? Holy, look at these. Nine millimeter ammo. Wow, look at these. Look at these steps. Metal roll, bullet puncher, bullet extruder, cap former, bullet priming, bullet topper, bullet boxer. Chemical dispenser, chemical mixer, drying. Wow. Bullet production license. Woo. Sewing, zipper, combat apparel. Lots and lots of stuff. And granted, this is just the, you know, the preview, the, the bare bones thing. I can imagine this this research is going to get way more intense. Um, looks like utilities. Utilities. Oh, yeah. It gives me access to power and such. Okay. Research set up. Uh, I would like... To start powering these on. No, it gave me a station. So I cannot. I'm not seeing. 
not seeing anything related to stations here. As far as like merging all of these into one one station. Now, do I need to set these up over here? thinking oh yeah I just I just got that research done so it's obvious that it's not a real-time day thank goodness okay uh, stations station station stations Belt, start line, end, cooling, cutting, forging, forming, welding, merging, punching, sewing, shaker, utilities, boxing, racks. Ooh, you can do decorations. Um, and time was going. I could not pause it. Line control. There we go. Uh, let's do camel gloves. We are going to add. Oh, whoops. <coughs> Add you, 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 you. That doesn't take power. Those don't take power. So all of the things take power. Okay. Power on. Can I power you on? Power on. There we go. Oh, yeah, we got stuff moving. And you're not, or you're outputting stuff. Oh, look at the gloves! Ah! There are the gloves! Sweet! Nice. Camel gloves, sewing, boxing. The sewing doesn't look like it's really doing much. Obviously, the animations. And all that jazz are not really all that done yet. So these are merging these two things. Uh, how are you doing? Looks like the ratios are uh, pretty much spot on. Do we have do we have gloves? Do we have our first? We have yes. Yes, our first box of gloves. Yay. Whoa. Whoa. Sir. Why why did that <laughs> Why? Oh, that completely fell off the line. Why would you go sideways with it if that was a thing that you had to do? I mean, it looks like it goes right in here and then down. But it just fell right off the line. <laughs> that might be a bug. Or it just might be the fact that I'm brand new at this. Okay, here's another here's another box. Ah, this one worked. Excellent. And it's stacked up. Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh we let's go look at orders. We have 40 out of 500 orders. Um, order value 12,500. Uh, fulfillment within four minutes? Really? Uh, I'm not. I'm not 100% sure we're going to be able to do that. Um, it wants. Wow. It wants that within four minutes and that is yeah this this looks like it's bugged out um, the sort of packing shoot the... so we're getting a box about how often here I don't think we're gonna be able to fulfill that many camel gloves oh and we had one fall over and, oh no, he had this fall. Where 
everybody. Are we, are we producing one or two things too fast? Yes, we're producing gloves. Like, way faster than we are producing... By the look of it, we're producing gloves way faster. We got a surplus. Hmm. Does this tell me, like, how many a minute it can do? I don't think so. Generator. Okay, let's look at orders again. Well, we've got a hundred. We're, we're definitely, I mean, I, I, I honestly thought time was paused during the, during the tutorial there. Um, this one we might be able to do. This one we could get done now. Well, yeah, we're not going to be able to... We're not, that's so many! 500! In uh, minute 45? Something like that? That's going to be tough. That's going to be really tough. We got a lot of untrustworthy people up in here. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Sewing level needs to be two. Yeah, I already understand that. It's a, it's a good order value, but yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah, my, my reputation has decreased. Sad times. Um, we could, uh, fulfill, we could fulfill quite a lot of these, actually. Uh, he wants, oh, he just changed it up. He wants combat trousers now. Um, so, 1500, we can do this. Uh, we can do that one. And go. Gerard Smith. How about that? Available orders. Give us a little money here. Um, another one for 1500 This one's 4000 I think this is the better deal here. This is less than... Well, it's about, let's see, two times W3, well, let's see, yeah, camel trousers, sewing level needs to be two, zipping level needs to be two, zipping machine, uh, there's one for 100, for 2,500, interesting. 3500 we can actually do this one now this was this guy's untrustworthy here we, we need more trustworthy people <clears throat> uh, one more and uh, we would be able to rock that out and what what is going on here what was those red numbers up there I did not like to see I don't like to see red numbers We are going to run out of materials here at some point. Alright, there's one more box. Okay, there's the 160. Status is good. Do that. 
and ship them. Boom, look at that. We just increased our monies. I think I can't click on money. I, I can't, yeah, I can't. I don't know what this zero is up there. I don't know what this is. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. There is a shorter, a shorter one. No idea. Now, let's look at uh, combat trousers. I'm sure. Because if we look at orders, yeah, our gloves are still going to build up. So we'll be able to, like, put some out. But uh, the trousers, I wish I could click on this and pull the recipe up. That would be nice. Um, so we need to look at cookbook items. Ooh, I don't actually have trousers. Really? Ah, zipper. Start. We have cooling system. Power gas. Belts pack. One meter, two meter. Oh, yeah, you can uh, go up and down. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at all. Look at all the stuff goes on in there. Holy cow. Ouch. Chemical dispenser, chemical mixer. New orders available. Yeah, I know. I don't know what what this is supposed to be. <laughs> I'd love to know what that icon is. Alright. Combat apparel is probably... Uh, yeah, there it is. And I can't... <clears throat> I can't start this? I have no active research. Did that not reset? Uh, okay. Prerequisite research. This goes off the thing. I don't know. I have zipper level one. But I think I need zipper level two in order to get that. And I don't... come into. Hmm. Sewing. Yes, yeah, see, I have sewer level 1, sewer level 2, and zipper level 1. Sewing system. I wish I could figure out what I need for this. Hmm. Maybe I need cooling machine. No, I can't start that either. Maybe I need another day to go by? New orders available. Okay. Uh, let's fulfill some good orders here. Um... Only we had this. See, yeah, Zor zipping level needs to be two. Well, I guess two zipping machines will probably do zipper level two. Um, 2,500. So many untrustworthies. Um, or is that... That might be my status with them. Uh, let's try this one here. So, uh, Feggy, where 
does he have another one in here? Mitchy. Yeah, neutral. Yeah, I think... I think that's my my status with them is uh, is where that's at. So darn. <clears throat> uh, we need resources probably. Um, fabric sheets and plastic blocks. Market. fabric sheet I want to buy well now see it right here shift click would be very nice so let's do 250 of these and then 250 I've already got all of this stuff. Well, I can't imagine what it's going to take to make like a tank. Holy cow. Can you imagine how big of a factory that's going to take? Ooh, we have a little like little bits and pieces. Interesting. He's just sitting there. Biding his time. Ooh. Dispenser, boxing, and heater. It's good. I don't have to buy those if the time comes. Uh, anything up here? Ooh. Oh, we can't actually get up. Oh, no, we can. Uh, can I? I can't scroll any faster than this. What is. Holy! Purchase this area. Yeah, very, very much like production line. Be a little bit grittier and fancier, <clears throat> and uh, very cool as far as like moving stuff around goes. Oh, really? Uh, let's look at our orders. No active orders. We have 140. Yeah, that. Do this one, three thousand. It's basically like fifteen hundred for sixty. Is really where we're at with this. It's a pretty much a flat, a flat demand. I mean, somebody might give us a little better deal. What? Shiny has decreased. Why? I didn't do anything. Okay, well, fine then. Be that way. You're not going to get my gloves then. I'm going to give them to Mitchy. Mitchy, you go. Yeah, there you go. seeing Jerry anywhere in here. Status is still neutral. Reputation zero. Reputation with Jerry is good. Um, you know, it's unfortunate. Look at that reputation. 142 compared to some of these other guys. Um, I'm 
Okay, we got we really got to see what's going on with the research here. Why can't I start this? One day start. I can't can't tell why. What do I need? I can't start that. Can't start that. Can't start that. I wonder if I broke it. I didn't mean to break it. Yeah, for some reason, it just does not want me to research anything else. Start. I want to start you. Overall cool stats. Nice. Okay. Somehow I've spent more money than I've earned. Go figure. And I don't know... I don't know what I did wrong as far as reset. Or, do I want to read What? It says reset. Huh. I don't know what that's all about. Why you have to reset it. But let's research... Let's research the combat apparel. Let's see if we can't punch a, another product out here. Okay. I like that the dispensers can go anywhere. That is very handy. Cute little thing in here. Okay, cookbook. Merger machine. Uh, cutter. Combat trousers. So, a dispenser, fabric sheet, cutting, combat trousers, sewing, two, zipper, two. Unboxing. That's actually pretty straightforward. Um, nice. Okay. Uh, so the boxing machine. We can literally just like. Could almost have these parallel to one another. I don't need the heater. gonna need a dispenser though yeah very very hard to see that arrow uh, we're gonna we're gonna max out on our on our gloves here any moment so new orders are available well, I'm not seeing any new orders Mitchy, Mitchy wants. Whoa, he wants. Whoo, he wants some serious glovage. Um. Yeah, look at that. Mitchy here, 240 up on top, 280, and another 260. This guy wants some gloves, and I'm not seeing any with camos. Oh, we got one with combat trousers. lot of combat. I mean, they want a, just another line to do uh, more gloves. I'm not sure how fast this machine is, but I mean, it seems to me that the gloves are actually going a little bit faster. <clears throat> Okay. We 
can almost do this one. Almost. It's a healthy amount of money right there. Oh, I think I ran out. No, no, I didn't. No, nope, they're still going. 240, 240. Good. Go. Uh, these are supposed to be empty. Yeah, I don't have any. Why, why didn't you update? Something, something happened. For some reason, all my boxes didn't disappear. Uh, orders. Yeah, see, I only have 20, and like all of my racks are full. That's not good at all. Um, not sure what to do about that. It just sort of broke. It's like once this, because there was one box here that didn't have a rack. Um, racks. It still didn't update. So, if we look at our orders, we only have 60. Do we have one for that just wants 60? We have one that just wants 40. Uh, we can do that. No, nope, where did it go? I almost clicked the wrong one again. You go. Yeah, it uh, it bugged out. Oh no, it bugged out. Yeah, the racks are not emptying. Now I could try to bulldoze. No, nope. see, I can't even bulldoze. So there's a definite bug, uh, definite bug with that. Try to build more racks. I did, Martin. I I built I built four. No, I built. One, two, three, four, five, six. I built eight more back here. And didn't work, uh, you know, it didn't clear them out and it didn't update once I sold what I had. So, yeah, it, it actually didn't, didn't do anything. Um, so let's, let's just keep going. Uh, we have no active research at the moment. Uh, let's look at more racks. Yeah, see, I've got to reset this again. Why can't I start this? See, that that's... We need a little bit more. Like, I need to mouse over this and see why it's not... Tell, why I can't start it. This is grayed out for a reason, and I don't know what that reason is. Um, I hit the reset, and it doesn't... doesn't do anything. Obviously, I can't do that because I don't have this. I can't start this. Uh, oh, I need to be... Uh, 150... Reputation with the National Army. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. I need 50 research. Oh, I actually need RP in order to even start this. Oh, Okay. But see a little thing over this that says not enough RP. And that that would have been my hint. Like, oh yeah, I need more RP. You know, 
I didn't read this, so I'm an idiot, and that's why I didn't have that. Um, why is this... Why was that... <laughs> that was a little much. That was a little much. Um, I need uh, more raw materials, I do believe. So let's do... Uh, market fabric I need like 500 of you I need plastic I need like 500 of you actually let me get like 500 and Market plastic. I want like ten more of you. For some reason, I have more. I have more fabric. Uh, yeah, I have more fabric than I do plastic. Even though I've been using them pretty much exactly. One plastic block one. I'm not sure what this number means here. Is this the number that it's outputted? Or what? Like, is that like today? Because this is still one. Or maybe it's like extras that it has? And it just can't output fast enough? I. I have no idea what that number means. I mean, obviously I know how much it is here. It's how many it has. And as soon as it hits 20, it spits a box out. Which is fine. I understand that. Um, hmm. But I don't know why that is 108 and that is 112. I'm not sure about that. Uh, how many gloves do I have to sell? Uh, available orders? I have 100. I have 180 that I can sell. Uh, you, sir. Well, where's the... National Army. See, the National Army guy is not is not up here. I can't increase my rep with him unless you know reasons. Look at that. 32,800. Oh, backpack and trousers. Yeah. That hurts. Um, yeah, I need it. I need like national army action here. Pretty sure this is Australia. We're we're pretty on good terms with Australia. I think we can. Uh, this is Turkey, I believe. Kinda wanna be careful of them. Yeah, combat trousers. That might make me more money, but I think it probably uses more fabric. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek at the combat trousers recipe again, and see what I'd be getting myself into if I tried that, if I tried that line. Uh, combat trousers. Yes, three fabric sheets that I would need for combat trousers. And then a cutting, and then two sewers, and then two zippers. Wow. Wow, that would be a lot of, a lot of stuff. Okay, can we research yet? Oh, yeah. I think we can. 
Uh, we did this one already. I accidentally, for some reason, this <laughs> I clicked to this. So yeah, we have we have ample amounts of of uh, research. So can I? I can't start two at once. this one I don't have I don't have the National Army reputation okay orders I have 260 I have 260 so Mitchie just double check make sure Mitchie you lucky one today um, go <clears throat> yeah again it didn't get rid of the boxes and I have I have no way because I could move the these the oh maybe I can't move these oh, I definitely can't move these oh no I can move that. I can't move that one. Can't move that one. Yeah, some of these are kind of bugged out. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Okay. Orders. Available orders. I know I saw some combat trousers in here. Uh yeah. Some good money in combat trousers might want to try that so we need we're gonna need some stuff here um, it's gonna be just like a long line so let's get let's get them started first we're gonna have this dispensing fabric Uh, and then we needed cutting. We actually needed to dispense fabric sheets. Because it's got to dispense three of them before it goes into the cutter. Do we have another cutter? I don't think we had another cutter. Nope, I don't think we had another cutter. Uh, okay, cookbook, combat trousers. So, cutting machine, yes. Dispenser, fabric sheet, cutter. So, I need a build. Cutting. can't see the I can't see the arrow there's the arrow right there I want you come at trousers please and then I need sewing Sewing, sewing, zipper, zipper. Okay, let's make sure these are, these are good to go. Like that. Yeah, it's very, very hard to see when they're... Like the, it would be nice if the arrow was like a different color. Duh. Belts. One meter would be nice. And one meter and one meter. Let's get this all snuggled in close. 
So there's a zipper. Another zipper. So zipping past one, zipping past two. Sewing level one, sewing level two. I think, for the most part, that's it for the main machines. And then we just need a boxing machine to box these babies up. So let's get the boxing machine up and running here. Why? Oh, there's gloves on the ground. Why are there gloves on the ground, sir? Um, I'm not sure where those go. Honestly, I have no idea where those are going. Uh, can we put like this here <laughs> to prevent that? And then this here, maybe? Uh, and then one there. And then let's put one of these here. Let's get the boxer all snuggled in close. Yeah, I don't know why the gloves sometimes come flying off. It might be when it's... If it spits a glove out, and if there's still one on this conveyor, it might not like that. Uh, Alright, so we have another belt. We have line end. Oh, I think we had an... Yeah, we had an extra one of these. I have no idea if that's going to work. Obviously, there's really no way to figure that out. Um, so, you are going to box this up. I'm, I'm not sure if the, if the boxer here could box, you know box this up or if you actually need to get the ratios right but nah, I'm not gonna risk it so we're gonna do racks I don't even know if this is required specify what goes on there. Now, uh, I need to add line group. We are going to add what is this? Oh, line control station. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. Uh, add you, you, all of these things need to be added to that. Okay, we gotta add this station. I'm gonna add this baby over here. There. Now I can just click on that station and it'll pull all this stuff up. So the other thing I need is a whole lot of fabric sheets of which I am down a lot. And uh, how many camo gloves do I have? What are resources? Okay. You know, I know I have more than three. Okay, there they are. Camel gloves, 260. I kind of want to wait for this to get done. Uh, just to see what I have left. Uh, so I've got quite a lot of material. 
I mean, obviously I can shut the whole thing down. Again with the plastic blocks. Because if I turn this one on, it's going to start pulling fabric. Just constantly pulling fabric. And that is not really something... It doesn't really go well with ratios. Because I'm going to be using it in groups of three. So let's say I want a hundred camel pe camel trousers. Well, I would need 300 fabric in order to make that happen. So I'm up to 300. Please tell me you're not filling these up good. Oh, I need more racks over here. Since those ones are empty. Since those ones are kind of bugged out. Okay, there's some more racks. Finish those up. I would love to know what causes the uh, odd, the odd mistake. Oh man, there's all sorts of things. That's one reason why those were not working right. I had. Do you see all the ton of plastic that I had? Like, where did that come from? Why was that a thing? Have I gotten some weird... I don't think I've gotten any more... Oh, yeah, there's a glove on the ground. And I don't know what it does with the things that it Hoover's up. Like, did it... What did it do with those... The plastic things that I had there? Yeah, inventory. I'm not sure... What we need to do with this. Like, is there... Is there some way to get rid of that? Like... Get to go to the mark. Ooh, research. Yeah, I definitely want to research some things. I've got the RP. I might even be able to take that down. Uh, market. Any way to sell those things. So, what do I do? What do I do with these that I've pulled in off the ground? I just don't know. Are we done with fabric yet? Holy cow. Yeah, is this really 500 gloves? Does that really have 500 gloves? Does this have 520? Okay. Um, that is interesting. That is very interesting. I mean, it's... Obviously, I'm out of fabric sheets. I'm out of plastic blocks. I'm out of these things. 
Um, it's not outputting them, and yet I am got 500 plastic. So I wonder if plastic block leads to more than one of these, as well as more than one of these. So I want to turn this off and this off. I don't want any more of those getting through. Plus that'll save me a little bit of a little bit of stuff. Um, cuz now I'm still I'm still putting out plastic gloves. Um, now I want to now I want to, you know, make some uh, glorious pants. Um, so those dispensers are off. Let's go to the market. Fabric sheets. And I would like 600 of these. Let's do 900. Uh, buy. And we're going to turn this power on. So, this is going to get three fabric sheets. And it's going to output one trouser. Sewing, sewing, zipper, zipper. Box. And it has one trouser. Yay. Two trousers. All right, we are now making the combat trousers. Are these still out? These are still outputting. These are still outputting things. I had no idea that these were making so many. Um, I must have a ton. Can you use a dispenser to get them out of your inventory? Uh, that is a good question. Indeed, indeed, I can. So I can, I can grab. Da, da, da. Start line and end dispenser. Output. Fittings on. There we go. So I don't I actually don't know how we can use that inventory system to organize the process here. That would be really cool to be able to find a way to do that. Instead of instead of having to manually like vacuum up the stuff from the, the floor, I wonder if there would be a way to grab that stuff. Merging, punching, shaker. I don't know if there is. At least at the current moment. So you can use the dispenser. But I have no idea how, if, if we have a line, say, making the plastic blocks or the plastic fittings or the gloves, if we have a line doing that and just adding it to an internal inventory, like, can we... Can we then go to a different part of the factory and then output said item? That way we could, you know, specialize production of things that we need. <clears throat> oh, stretch. Okay, we've got to have a few camel pants over here. Oh yeah, we've got some cam camel pants. Let's go to orders. 
We, what? Only 20? We have gloves galore. Ooh. Oh, he wants a vest, though. I need good standing with Jerry. Uh, okay. Um, let's... Let's look at the... Cookbook. Camo vest. Oh, wow. Fabric sheet. Three of those. Make the vest. Go to the zipper. Plastic heat. Plastic fitting. Goes into forming. Then merging. Then sewing. Then the end of the line. Wow. That is... Not an easy, not an easy thing, and I'm running out of money. I need to, st I need to sell, I need to sell some stuff. Um, let's. You're good. You're good. Camel trousers. I wish I could send you those. Camel gloves. Uh, yeah. So who is fulfillment? So let's fulfill Mitchy. Uh, Mitchy. And I need sixty more. Or basically, what? Three more boxes. I'm sure we're pumping these things out here. Oh yeah. So basically each box has 10 pairs of gloves in it. are going strong haven't sold any of those yet and uh, lo and behold when I finally start getting them in I can't actually do any orders with them except this one way down here which wants 300 um, which is what 15 boxes That's crazy. And look at this. I mean, look at this. Vest, gloves, boots, vest, trousers. Like, wow. I'm going to need a lot more, a lot more goodies. In order to get up the bullets that I want to make. I could sell if we go to the market here. I could sell some of this stuff. Lead, brass, and copper. I could sell all of these for a little bit of money. I mean, 50? I mean, that's not going to give me really anything. Like, maybe... Let's see. A hundred would be sixteen hundred, so it'd be half of that. It would be what eight hundred bucks. That's it. Uh, okay, orders active. Send. I mean this this Mitchy guy. He is he should be loving me. By now, I am making him look so good. So if I look at clients. Mitchy. I'm still neutral. Reputation is up, though. 42. That's good. But see, Jerry, I need him... I need that to be 150 in order to e even research what I want to research. 
Okay, shaker is done. Power utility. Let's do it. Oh, and it's done. Gas. Start. That's perfect timing. Yay. Um, made a profit yet? That is a good question. I don't know. Um, there is really no really easy way. I I have no idea how to f pull up like the the graph O income. I mean, I'm trying to make a profit. Yeah, you know, I'm really, I'm really, I'm really working at it. But things, things are getting in the way. And the people need to order the right things. The other thing I wish we could do is have a, a, a separate, like, I want to specify these racks are only for gloves. These racks are only for trousers. Because these fill up with gloves and they're gonna start bleeding in over here uh, speaking of which there we go you know a lot of the, a lot of the workers too get access to all of these here. Oh, we have a trouser. We have a trouser. That... Uh, uh, so resources. Yeah, we have six camel gloves that we've pulled off the ground and uh, one combat trouser. So we are going to need a dispenser. This output camel gloves on Why does this keep going up? pulling in the packaged items am I just getting an infinite number of camel gloves now like is this a duping bug right here did I find a duping bug yeah the vest Oh, come on. Give me... <sighs> really? That's quite the order. Bullets, boots, backpacks, and vests. Yeah, that's not going to happen anytime soon. This one is waiting on some serious time here. Uh, as far as gloves go, nobody really wants... Just plain old regular gloves. There's another trouser on the ground. Like where? Oh man, look at that! It's, yeah, it's not going down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to turn this baby off. And uh, I'm going to build another one 
See if see if the if the pants do it too. Output combat trousers on. Yeah, look at that. This has got to hit zero, though. I mean, it has to. I mean, unless, unless it's by, nah, it's got to be a dew bug. I mean, the only way that I can see it, like, not doing that would be if it's actually pulling from the market. But the market doesn't actually have anything on there. And it's weird that this doesn't actually show up on screen. And I don't know what's going on with, uh with the stream because this is taking up my whole monitor right to left it's taking the whole thing up for some reason OBS is like no we're squishing that down anyway whoa where did I where did I end up okay uh, Martin um, I was looking I was I was keeping an eye on my packaged items and it wasn't actually, it wasn't actually taking it from plastic, uh, from uh, packaged items. So it wasn't depleting that at all. Are these finally done? I think they are. How close am I to here? I got one extra plastic fitting. How about that? Finally done on gloves. I mean, obviously, if I need more, I can just turn this machine on and get freebies. Ah. I'm not going to do that, though. I know I'm not going to do it. Um, well, let's see if we have any orders that I can actually fulfill. Yeah, they all want vests now. Um... be a while before I get the 300 trousers that I need there. Just bleeding money at this point. Um, so that's 180. Yeah, I can do this. Oh, that's shiny. Mm. So if I do the client's Police force. Algeria. Okay, that's not Turkey, that's Algeria. Edward Fu from Algeria. Police force, huh? I don't know if I I don't know if I believe that or not. literally no good deals here. I mean, I could spit out fabric faster. I could add another dispenser, you know, and add extra fabric to this. So a very promising game. Like I, I am, I'm looking forward to the 
potential and possibilities of this as as things get ramped up as you know more and more gear gets unlocked um and you know you work with shady people or you do you just work with like government contracts like you gotta you gotta choose and you know your reputation is obviously going to hurt or hinder whatever what you do next but uh yeah i think that the game has so much potential i mean you start you start making you know clothing and you know through gameplay and through smart decisions work your way up to making like tanks and jets i think that would be epic epic uh putting all that stuff together especially if you're able to see it so i'm hoping that this little play session um you know, opened, opens, or at least helped with the feedback. Some of the things, I like the ambient, I like the, the, the setting. It just, it makes it hard to, to play when you can't freely move the mouse around and you've got these things going on. Like, that, that, that makes it really hard. <clears throat> uh, we've got one bug with the rack. I'm not sure what triggered this bug as a programmer. I really, when I find bugs like this, I really, I really try to, f you know, figure out why it happened. But the only thing I can guess is at the time the racks were full and I had one box waiting to be, to be added. And that box and all of the ones that were already stacked up were literally just bugged out they'll they never disappear which is unfortunate why did you go off this way dude that was not cool um market research okay uh this is about the only one i have left yeah and and whoops most of my money went because i accidentally put this in the middle which used like a hundred thousand dollars of my cash and yeah that was unfortunate I didn't catch that very quickly all right I really want to fulfill an order for pants. I need five more boxes of pants. Do we have a pants? Still no pants and glove combo. There was one in here. I should have grabbed it while I was in here. Wasn't sure what the what the timing of it was though. The combo, yeah, really gives you some good, good return. Like, yeah, I could use thirty-two thousand bucks right now. That would be nice. Okay, so we've got. Hey, look at that. I made it all the way to the end this time. So I can actually turn this off. That'll save me some money. Because these, the operating costs on these. Maintenance and operating costs. I'm, I'm pretty sure that when they're off, they're off. We don't have we're don't, we don't have that passive drain.
Sure does take its sweet time loading up, doesn't it? If if making clothing was only this easy. Yeah, just put it through a bunch of machines and yeah. Would be nice. As far as, as far as pre-alpha, you know, pre-early access, this, so far it's been pretty solid. Okay, is there anything else that I can research that I haven't researched yet? I want to research this giant dollar sign right there. That'd be nice. Money. Just print my own money. Uh, all right. Obviously, this I can't do because I need 150 with the National Army in order to be able to do that. And that would be a lot of research that would have to go into that. Roll dispenser. that appeared. Help. So I can probably sell these. Sell. I need a little influx of money. Because wow, it was going fast. more boxes of trousers. Now I wonder if you can box things up. I bet you you can. I bet you you could get to the nitty gritty details and organize it so it's you box up with the perfect ratio. That would be tough though. That would be really tough. You know, if somebody, if there was an order for, you know, 60 gloves and 180 trousers, which doesn't make sense, but let's go with it. Obviously there's three times more trousers than there are gloves. So you could have three lines making trousers, one line making gloves, pack them all in one box and every box that spits out should be you know that that good uh, resources No, I, my guess is I would never do something like that because that would be enormously difficult to do, especially when things randomly fall off the belts. That would make it very, very difficult to make sure that those ratios are always perfect. Got the last 40 fabric sheets. I had a, exactly the number of fabric sheets that I had for 300 trousers. So we're gonna we're gonna positive on that. Yeah. 
and we have uh, yeah we have two hours ten minutes to fulfill that and uh, we'll need one more box of trousers in order to do that then we need to f we need to actually have a line for everything and uh, because of that research blunder that I did I don't think I have the money to actually do it pretty much done on the research that we have available except for bullets which I can't do right now anyway yeah I got way way too much RP You gotta be getting close. Ten more. All right. It's weird. It seems like this belt is going slower than this one. I don't know why. Doesn't it seem like this belt is going way slower than like this one? I think it might be. It's really hard to say though. Okay, are you not... You're going to be turned on. This should have been perfect as far as the trousers go. Oh, you know what? I think I figured out why it's able to do this. You notice how this isn't going up? I think it's pulling out of here, pushing into here, somehow. So I need five more trousers uh, with three fabric each. I should I should have had exactly the number I needed, but something might have been lost in translation. So I'll f five more times three so 15 more fabric as the devs I would really make sure now as hard as games are to to debug I would really make sure these ratios these ingredients are not lost because I had exactly 900 fabric, which should have crafted exactly 300 trousers, and I came up five short with three that I landed on the ground what, that I can't do anything with. No idea what I can do what I can do with those. All right, finally, one order can be fulfilled. Yay, okay. Orders. 300 combat trousers. You are a go, sir. So, go. That was some good money there. Still neutral. Mitchy. I gave you a lot of a lot of stuff and uh, as far as orders go didn't really get what I wanted it's unfortunate all right well I'm gonna shut this down save a little bit of money uh, while I do the outro here so that was a quick stream of gunsmith 
great little game lots and lots of potential looking forward to trying to maximize my production here and maybe get get my reputation up enough where we can you know start fulfilling uh, or start making bullets that would be that would be pretty epic and I think I think that's it for the content for this version um, you know this is like pre early access the link to the Steam page is in the description uh, please like the video uh, if you are uh, if you enjoyed the stream and uh, you're looking forward for the game and uh, that'll have to do it for the stream everybody I thank everybody for watching and I will see you next time <laughs>